making the movie, you get on this treadmill, it becomes all consuming. It was very difficult because the ship went down at night. So it was all night shoots. That was very hard for me, really hard to, to make your body to adjust to that. Then there was extremely difficult water work. You definitely don't have to search for motivation. It was cold, it was seawater, it was winter, but you lose a pound of flesh on a movie, you get wet and, you know, you carry on. It's the chaos and the madness uh, all going on around us. It was almost as if we were living it. But this ship can't sink. She's made of iron, sir. I assure you, she can't. The bridge bit, the whole idea was it had to be a kind of watertight unit, which was impossible. So when they dipped it down into the tank, the water was coming in up to my knees, and the boards were going boom. It wasn't until we were shooting the ship going down and I turned and saw the lifeboats. Now there's something you don't see every day. And I began to see the enormity of what we were doing. So everybody raised their game because we have a duty to the event because we have to try and get it as accurately portrayed as possible. It's a fun ride to see the product of all your efforts and all the efforts of so many hundreds of people that worked on the film accepted and just beloved by the audience. I'm really proud to put Titanic back on the big screen because that's really where it belongs.